Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Ground. When we last left off, we managed to get ourselves a new key, and uh, I did say off camera I was going to go and spend our uh, medals, which I in fact did. Now, it's been absolutely ages since I've played this game, and I'm trying. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Definitely don't be kicking the dog. And I'm trying to remember the controls. So. Uh, we did get ourselves some very interesting items. One I'm fairly sure is going to be OP because I have been experimenting with it off camera. Um, I haven't had a large amount of time to actually play this game. Or any games actually for a little while. So, uh, we did miss a video, but hopefully we'll catch up on that at some point. So, we got... What do we get from doing the uh, thingity what's it? We got this stuff, which, um, from what I can understand, because I have my guide, we got three or four loads of this. Now, this stuff... Sedato completely reduces panic, which is actually quite nice. We've got four units of that stuff. Um, we also got this uh, Recreatio, or whatever it's called. Recreatio. We've got 18 of that, which is a lot, apparently. But um, that restores stamina completely. But uh, as much as we have quite a lot of it, I don't think that's actually going to be that useful because we've already got the earrings that give us um, loads of stamina anyway. Uh, we got the feather boots as well, which uh, I think they sound more useful than they're actually going to be. Boots that are light as a feather and extremely comfortable. When equipped, the character's footsteps cannot be heard. I haven't really ever noticed uh, the enemy following us through our footsteps, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. Uh, I don't know if that's a good item, but either way, we have them. Um, we also... What did we get? We got more... Uh, yeah, we got some like we got this this stuff as well, which restores a small amount of stamina. Again, I don't think it's actually going to be that useful. Kind of between that and that, it feels like a load of wasted medals, if you ask me. And we got the Magna Esca, which is that there. We've got nine of those now, and the Magna Esca. If memory... Right, so that restores Huey's stamina completely. So that's probably the most useful item we actually get here. Um, we also got these fairy earrings, which seem broken. Solid gold earrings in the shape of a crescent moon. Fiona becomes invisible whenever she's not moving, making it hard for the enemy to find her. Yeah. So uh, we can be running around like this, being chased. We can go down somewhere like this, don't touch the controls, and we go invisible. I've tested this a few times. It's really effective. <laughs> I've, I don't know if I'm going to be using it, I'm going to be honest with you, because it just, it's overpowered. Um, at least against uh, the maid lady, anyway, because it just seems a little bit silly. So... For now, we're going to go put our other earrings back on. Um, the thing is, it kind of removes all of the tension when you can just run away from the enemy and hide. It's kind of like playing on easy mode. Now, the apparently, she can actually still find you uh, if you've got it on. But she's never found me whilst I've worn it and hidden from her. So, ugh. Not sure. Anyway, so we're going to have the Philosopher's Stone. The speed at which you come from a state of panic increases, as does mental stability. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll use that. And we'll keep the silver boots on. Oh! And if what I will do, I will demonstrate. I will demonstrate the fairy earrings. So you can see just how broken they are. See, she's chasing us. She's coming. 
she's going to kick us in the face. We're just going to hide here. This would be a prime example now of where it doesn't work. So we're just going to sit here. Unfortunately, Huey's just going to run around and probably attack her. Oh, nope. She literally walked straight into us. So there we go. There is a prime example, <laughs> actually, of that not working. The only example of that not working that I've ever seen. If she sees us, um, and I got stuck on Huey there. Great game design. Uh, Miz. And uh, she's locked the door. No, 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 open the door, open the door. Run. Just don't bitch slap me in the back of the head. Come on. Have some class. Uh, that was unfortunate. Oh, she shut all the doors. She does this. Alright, we're just going to run away from her for now. Come on, Huey. Let's go. Huey, Huey, whatever you want to call him. You're all right, buddy. You're okay. It's all good. Right, let's go hide in this corner here. As long as she doesn't see us disappear. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually... Maybe it's not as broken as I thought it was. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, dear. All right, maybe I take that back. When I was testing this game, it was absolutely broken. Like, I was hiding from her literally in plain sight. Whereas, now, I guess not. Which is really curious. Not really sure where we can hide from her at the moment. Um, okay, let's just go. I don't know what we can do with these mirrors. I don't know how they're supposed to distract her. I have no idea. Um, I thought she was going to get distracted and just look at them. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Alright, let's just keep going. Oh, she's screaming. She's screaming. Let's just hide here. Like, you wouldn't have thought she'd be able to walk right into us if we stand here. Oh. Oh, oh. She is loitering around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's... It's it's definitely um, not the item I thought it was. That's what we call the Let's Player's Curse. Because off camera, it was completely broken. And I was literally just, you know putting zero effort into hiding from her whatsoever. Now she's locking onto us like an Amram. So not really sure what that's about. Um, let's try and find somewhere to actually hide to get her, her off our ass. Oh, no, we can't. She's already on us. She's already on us. Okay. Start as you mean to go on, I suppose. Um, why are you panicking, Fiona? We're like, she's, she's nowhere near us. Seriously. Um, what am I stuck on? Oh, man. I had actually forgotten about how iffy it was <laughs> to control. Now, let's see. She's locking herself in. Now, in theory... We should be hidden. But, um, yeah, maybe I'm putting too much value on these earrings then. Maybe they're not quite... Maybe they're not quite as potent as I thought. Which is quite curious. Well, I guess they helped us escape then. Which is quite nice. As long as she doesn't come back. I don't know, guys. I don't know if these are going to be that broken then. What do you reckon? I guess it's just kind of like another tool in our toolbox, I suppose. Let's feed 
Huey. Because he's not looking so good, man. And he's taken some horrible licks in our honor. So, can't use this here, apparently. Come on, boy. Come on. All right, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Try and stay a little bit quiet, dude. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. All right, now sit down. Chill out. And we're going to give you some Shake. some shakes. There we go. Shake. And now, hopefully, we can continue Shake. with the task at hand. All right, I'm going to have to leave you here, buddy, because I've got a feeling if we go back out into that corridor, she's probably going to be there waiting for us. Because um, she's sly like that. She really is. All right. So... And anyway, we found a key uh, that's going to lead us into two rooms. Two interesting puzzle rooms. And it's actually quite cool. Uh, obviously, I've been playing this ahead. Oh, <laughs> I've been playing this ahead. I had been playing this ahead. Um, oh, yeah, we can't go through there yet. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. That was the balcony. Where was our puzzle room? Was it through here? Ah, right. Kind of. This is do. Close enough. Now, because what we need to start aiming towards, we need to go downstairs into that garden below us, but we can't do that yet. Not yet, no. So let's come this way. We need to keep our ears peeled. Although, to be fair, she is very bloody quiet. Now, the good thing about being in this room is she's always there. She's literally always just there. So, this gives us a little bit of rest. And I do mean a little bit. I do wish she would stop closing these doors, though. Jolly inconvenient of her, if you ask me. Okay, so... Looks like we've given her the slip for now. Now, that new key we have, we can use it in here. The right path leads to the truth, whilst the left path leads to the deception. When the shroud of deception is lifted, the fog will fade, and the hidden path will make itself known. O ye faithful, uh, O ye faithful flock, right these wrongs, if three truths exist, it must be so. Three lies also exist. Yeah, so we've got three identical rooms, or two identical rooms coming up. And in these rooms, there are differences. Differences that we need to discover. So. Ah. This is bad. Hear that noise. Now, I've done this three times. We can hear that our maid is there. We're not going to talk to her. Actually, I'll show you what happens if we do talk to her. Oh, boy. So, if we talk to her, she gets a little bit upset. So, I've done this three times. And she's only been here twice. The first time I did this, she wasn't here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. If we talk to her, she gets a hot poker. I'm hoping that if we don't talk to her, she's not going to get the hot poker because her strategy changes with the hot poker. Like I say, I've done this three times. Twice she's got the hot poker. So I guess there's... I don't know whether there's something you do that influences that, or whether she always gets the poker. It's just, you know, a time thing. I'm not sure. So anyway, we've got a pair of creepy wax figures. These things aren't going to come to life like in the movies. 
Right. No, they're not. We also have a chessboard. Here of all places. I guess they used to take their mind off things. I guess they use this to take their mind off things. Indeed. And also, we have this. A massive hourglass. Turning this over would be quite a task. Yeah, we just we just gotta leave her there. She's cool. She's happy. She's she's just playing with the fire. That's okay. That's okay. My controller is stuck into rumble mode now. I don't know why. It's like vibrating away. Really, Fiona? You can't work out that we need the key. There we go. Hey. Alright. So. In here, there's a couple of things that could happen. Let's shut this door. I always forget how to shut doors. You would think shutting a door would actually be a simple task, but it's kind of actually really not. All right, let's put a save state down because if we check here, <gasps> yep. You guessed it. <laughs> if we're not actively being followed, she will always be in there. If we are actively being followed, we, we're safe to hide. Now we've got a point, uh, we've got to find the three deceptions in this room. Now, if we examine anything other than the items that we need to and get it wrong, do you want to search more thoroughly? If we say yes, well, the door locks. Why is the door locked? How strange. Now, out of curiosity, ah, look. The owner, um, the maid, Daniela, whatever, I can't remember what she's called now, is not in there. But if we try to leave, we played ourselves. That doesn't sound like it was a quick death either. Pretty unsettling. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of a cool little death as well, I've got to be honest. Anyway, we're not going to do that because the chessboard is different. Okay, man. Luckily for you guys, I know. I'm not sure what we're doing in searching more thoroughly. So the chessboard is different. Did something just move? Maybe. These chaps are also different. What does that actually say? Um, oh, <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on? Our character model disappeared. But no. These things aren't going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to search these gentlemen. I'm not sure how exactly we're searching them. Looks like we're just staring with intent, to be honest. But, you know, what do I know? And last but not least, we're going to search a massive hourglass. Turning this over will be quite a task. But we're going to search it. Now that is more like it. So, with these three things examined, we have unlocked the next part of the puzzle piece. 
So now we can get out of here finally. I mean, I say we can get out of here finally. I mean, not really. Um, because we need to get another key. So... We need to go... Back to the merry-go-round. And I always forget which way that actually is. But look. We now have... We now have this, which leads to the graveyard. Which is cool. You know, it's fine. But we don't need to go to the graveyard. Not yet, anyway. And that is me uh, covering my tracks for going the wrong way. Totally. Was it smooth? Did it work? Now, uh, if we go back this way, question mark. Uh, you know what, that works. It's been so long since I've actually properly played this. Kind of getting turned down. Luckily I made notes. Can we save please? Thank you. Uh, we're going to save that. Just in case we have any errors with the video or with... Ooh. Yeah, just in case we have any errors with the video or any errors with a microphone, stuff like that. Now... We're behind the grate. And you know who else is behind the grate? Well, I'll give you a clue. It's not Santa Claus. It's our friend, the maid. Now, funny enough, we have to actually talk to her here. Miss Fiona. A small present from the Lord of the Manor. You've obtained Herbal's perfume. And we need that. Now, I'm not sure why sometimes she's just like really chilled out and other times she's kind of a bitch. Don't really understand that, but whatever. Um, now, we need to go the other side of the merry-go-round. She's still there. She's just chilling. She's having a good time. Bless her. Uh, yeah, alright, Hughie. Now, what we can do... This door, which was a completely closed um, door, is now nice and open. We've got the Weeping Stone. Which... Uh, what does the Weeping Stone do? I forget. So, emits a loud noise, distracting some enemies. Okay. Well, I don't know what enemy that distracts. But I'm sure we can find out. So, this actually leads us back to the save room. You see? We're going full circle. Isn't that wonderful? But, there's something else we can grab. Ah, you see where we are? We get the Sylvestia Esca. And the Sylvestia Esca uh, is an item for our pooch. Which is not good. It makes actually, oh yeah. <laughs> it's not a good item at all to use. That's what makes him uh, very angry. Goes on a rampage and attacks everything in sight, including Fiona. Um, yeah, they also really damage your friendship with him. So, we're not going to be using that. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, let's... Oh, we could go back there. We, what we need to do now... Is... Find the other way... Into the merry-go-round. Because there's two ways into the merry-go-round. Because you've got the two different sides. We need to find the new side. And I can't remember how we do that. So this leads to one side. Yeah, we can't seem to get round. That leads to the that side, which is fine. But we need to go up and over. 
Um, so, actually, if we look at the map, I wonder if the map's actually going to be useful here. Uh, not really. Let's actually bring up the map when we're inside. Right, so. Unfortunately, like, you can't... It is annoying that you can't actually zoom in on the map or anything like that. So what we need to do is go up and around, back through the clock. Okay, cool. So we need to go this way. And round. Like so. And I believe up and around this way. There we go. Ah, see? I remember things about stuff. And we have a new door. Into the torture chamber. Now this place is fun. Do we like a good torture chamber? Chamomile. We'll have the chamomile. Why not? Oh, look at this. Doesn't this look fun? Huge spikes jut out from inside the Iron Maiden, rendering the device unusable as a hiding place. Yeah, uh, well, we can actually just fiddle with this and turn it into the perfect hiding place. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to actually drop a save here. Um, you can get killed by going in here. But... I've never managed it. Which is unfortunate. And we actually need Huey here. A corpse. There are traces that suggest this person was heavily tortured. There is something hanging from its neck. Eh, let's take it. Now, I don't know if you could actually understand what he was saying there. But it sounds like he says, give... Oh, we're panicking. Really? Fiona, come on. Yeah, I get it. A big, nasty corpse just came to life. Literally in front of your face. But it's, it's not that bad, Fiona. Surely. You've seen worse things than that. Now, what's that corpse going to think watching you break down and have a panic attack right in front of it? Come hey, on. Huey. Come on. Come on, Huey. We kind of need you, buddy. You're integral to this next part. Come on. We're going to have to go out and get him, aren't we? So, if you look at this, is this a tool used to torture innocent victims? Tiny letters are engraved. Fire is essentially composed of hotness and dryness. So, red and yellow. Air differs only from fire in that it is formed of moistness. So, okay, so we need red and blue and red and yellow. Earth and fire are, without doubt, both in possession of dryness. So, earth, that's green. Um, so green and yellow. Water differs from air in the fact that it does not contain heat. Water. So we need blue. Okay. Coldness is the component that separates fire from earth, yet it is dryness that separates the same earth from water. And so, by linking these four elements together, it is said that the fundamental uh, Carinia aura, or alchem alchemic bond, is formed. That which binds flesh and spirit together for an infantarium. Yet, hotness and dryness form the element of fire. What could that mean? Well, it's not that difficult. But yeah, so that corpse whispered, or rather screamed at us, Give me death. Unfortunately, we've lost our pooch. Come on. 
which is not fantastic. Ooh, ooh, let's drop a save and see if we can get the death. Because that would be pretty rad. Because I haven't seen it. I've only heard legends. Now, unfortunately, if she's actually running at us, we can't hide in here. Ah, oh, she's going away. So close, and yet so far. I really would like to see that. Ah, oh, she literally came in here. Is she, there she is. Cool. Actually, we're still on. We could still get ourselves horribly murdered in this fashion. Oh, she's going away again. Come on. Oh, come on. It shouldn't be this hard to see this. Honestly. Be a nice little way to round out the episode, if you ask me. Oh, stop shutting the door. Come on, woman. Oi, follow me. Oi, come on. And she has not got the poker, which is interesting. So if you don't disturb her there, I guess she doesn't get it. Right, let's try and get her to follow. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I really want to see... I guess it's going to be harder to get her in here than I thought. Interestingly enough. Is it a secret death then? Can you not... Come on. Come on, love. Don't be like this. Just kick you until you're going to agree to follow me. Okay, I have no idea why she's being quite so useless. There we go, she's following. Cool. Yes! She's actually really in. Oh no! No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. If she doesn't follow us in this time, then I don't know. Really? I mean, she's there. Because her music is still playing. Ah, oh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, I'm going to have to end this episode here because we're out of time. And I need to get this rendered and uploaded because it missed its slot. Uh, not yesterday, day before, I think. So, um... Ha. Huh. I honestly don't know how to trigger that death. Might go look it up quickly. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.